Well, hundreds of people got out early to collect trash for Alabama's 28th annual coastal cleanup. One of the largest cleanup sites in the area was at Dog River Park. This morning, News 5's Melissa Constanza learned how to clean up, how cleanup can be fun. When we think of the coastal cleanup, we often think of it out there, on the water, bringing trash back to dumpsters. But this morning, nearly 200 people scavengered the land for trash. Oh, that's dangerous for animals. Those 200 people made up one of two coastal cleanup stations in the Dog River watershed. A half bag of trash just in one little area. Emma Smalling and her dad were among some of the early risers. It's really peaceful doing it, and I know that I'm helping the community. Meanwhile, some of Emma's friends were cleaning up the shores of Dog River Park. Oh, 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 okay. oh, thank you. They know the day isn't about the work they are doing, but about the animals. Yeah, and if, if they eat it, it costs them to die. So that's why we have to pick up the trash so it won't float out there and uh, the animals won't get sick. The event wasn't just for the young, it was for the young at heart. 82-year-old Jean Golden has participated in the coastal cleanup since it began 28 years ago. Statistics have shown they've taken away truckloads and truckloads of trash for years and years. Those truckloads of trash are always easy to collect when you're having fun. My favorite part about doing it is spending time with my dad doing this. It's really fun. And you use a little teamwork to get there. In Mobile, Melissa Constanzer, News 5. Now, in addition to the 200 people picking up on land, there were another 60 people out in the water from the Dog River Park site.